Hi, my name is Frank. I'm an orgo tutor here at PU's ERC, and you're watching video two of six on NMRs. This one's going to be about equivalent hydrogens, and let's take a look at our molecules here. So uh, the two factors that determine how uh, shielded or deshielded you are, like I talked about in the previous video, are distance from electron withdrawing groups or the number of electron withdrawing groups in your vicinity. There, and then electron withdrawing groups are also known as electronegative groups. So let's look at this molecule right here. It's CH3 and Br. So now uh, I want you to pause your screen and try and group, uh, try and label the number of groups of hydrogens. Okay, so when you group them, you might have thought um, these two guys here are equivalent, right? Because they're kind of closer to the Br. And this guy is probably uh, a different group because he's farther away. But the thing you have to know is that they're actually all equivalent. So they would all be H8. And the, thing, and the, the reasoning behind that is because the distance they are from the bromine is the same. They're all two bonds away. One bond, two bond, bromine. One bond, two bond, bromine. One bond, two bond, bromine. And you may not be able to see it that clearly there. So here's a model kit. Pretend like these are the three hydrogens. Um, your molecule isn't always like kind of frozen. They're always rotating constantly. So if they're always rotating constantly. Each hydrogen is going to be in the same. Oh. <laughs> Let me cut that out. Each, each hydrogen is going to be in the uh, same environment as the other one at a certain point in time because they're rotating. So that's why all three of these hydrogens are equivalent. Okay. Next, uh, this molecule here. Uh, I want you to pause the screen and try and label the number of different groups of hydrogens in this molecule, okay? So, uh, the number of hy different hydrogens in this molecule, you might say that these three and these three are probably the same, right? Because they're the same distance away. They, they look like they're equal distance away from the oxygen, the electronegative group. And then these guys are also the same distance away from this oxygen. Um, one bond, two bond, three bond, one bond, two bond, three bond, and then these hydrogens here and these hydrogens here look like they're kind of farther away, so you might group it like this, HA, 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 and so on, and so on. Okay, and you might group uh, these guys as HP, these guys as HP. But the thing is that, once again, uh, your bond is constantly rotating. So, so they're actually all equivalent to each other here. And if you look at this again, uh, pretend this is this carbon, this one here is this carbon, and the purple one here is this carbon. Once again, they're all e kind of equidistant from the O. So when it spins, once again, they're all in the same environments no matter what, after a period of time, they're just spinning. And the same is true for this side here. Do you see that? Okay. So then the hydrogens attached to the carbons must also be the same. So they're actually um, all HA, 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 and HA. Okay? And another way you can check is one bond, two bond, three bonds from the O, one bond, two bond, three bonds from the O, one bond, two bonds, three bonds, one bond, two bond, three bonds. Okay? Cool. So now we're going to look at this molecule here. Uh, once again, pause the screen, group the hydrogens, and come back. Okay, so in this molecule here, uh, let's see, you would have HA, 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 HA here. And these guys are actually not equivalent to these guys here. You might think that, okay, so one bond, two bonds away from the oxygen, one bond, two bonds away from the oxygen. They should be the same, right? But they're experiencing like a sandwiching effect because these hydrogens are kind of being sandwiched by the two oxygens here, which are electronegative, so that they're going to draw the electrons away from the hydrogens. So they experience like a double effect, as opposed to these guys here. Uh, these three hydrogens and these three hydrogens, they only feel the effects of this one or this one. So it's the pull isn't as strong, so they're not as deshielded as these four guys. So this would be HB, 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 B, B, B. 